Perth, Australia is there, which is the main staging point. And the two areas that we're talking about, the two little pieces, all fairly large, 24 metres and 5 metres, they are just about here. It's roughly 1,500 miles from there to there. And let's put that in context. For we have viewers in the U.S., we have viewers around right. the world. How far is this in terms of where these planes have to travel back and forth from just to search at all? All right. The, the, best, the best information, roughly, give or take, you're talking about a distance of 1,500 miles, give or take, which is uh, New York to Dallas, or in international terms, let's talk about London to Moscow, London to Istanbul. Now, bear in mind what these searchers have to do, Chris. They have to fly from here in moderate to difficult weather. They have to get out of here. So you're already looking at a fuel burn. You're looking at a question of how long you can stay in the sky. You are looking at all those sort of issues. You search for as long as you can, an hour to whatever you can. And then you've got to fly back to Perth. So it's a distance of about 1,500 miles. Um, They've obviously got this now, this merchant ship, which is in the region. A Norwegian merchant ship that says they'll help volunteer with the yep. search. They were first to this zone right. of where they're looking. Right. And remember, that information is four days old, so they've had to use the math to coordinate where it would be now. Right, and, and to do that, you're talking about what... Where would the route have been on this southern arc? How would it have come from up here, right the way down here? And where, even if this debris is found, and now, you know, the, the merchant ship can't find it, the P3 that's been up overnight can't find it. So, so far, let's assume that they do manage to find it. You're then working out where did it come from. What we know is that there's about roughly 25 planes, 18 ships in this vast area. But, Chris, as the searchers said from the Royal... Um, Search Authority says, this is, <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful, but this is the end of the earth. This is absolutely middle of nowhere. Well, they're saying it's the, it's the most challenging of all things. It's far, it's remote, and it's very deep. And you're in the storm season, so it's inclement there as right. well. High seas, they are benefiting from warmer water. Uh, for those who want to hold out hope for survivability, there is that. But it's a tough set of constraints.